Yeah, you got it? Yeah. We had to discuss some things behind the scenes because I said, happy Lizmas, day number three. But he's like, but it's day two. It's but day it is two, two but, but we're filming not, today but, and then it goes tomorrow. And then it won't be, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like trying to figure everything out. So I want to say thank you so much to everybody just being so excited. I don't think you read comments, huh? Probably not. Oh, I was at work. So yeah. Really... So we had a bunch of good comments and everybody was saying that they actually got the Haribo calendar. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Delicious. And people also got a Star Wars calendar and then some Lego um, calendars because um, they got it for like their kids or like someone got it for their daughter. So yeah, they got the Lego one because that's of you. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So whenever you get the Haribo calendar for the gummy bears, you have to make sure that you get it ahead of time. But I wanted to do some shout outs because I told you I wanted to do them. And I have three people I want to shout out. Don't worry. I see who comments. Like you guys are my ride or dies. And there's some of you that comment every single time including my Instagram, and you do not go unnoticed. So the first shout out I want to give to is to Erica Rodriguez. I don't know if you've commented before, I'm sorry, but comment just like stood out to me because it says, you're going to be busy during Vlogmas and makeup content, probably going to be exhausted out of all of it, but I'll let you know I'm so appreciative of everything that you're doing. You're keeping me sane and taking my mind off how stressful and expensive the holidays are. Well, with her comment, I just want to say thank you so much. This is why we want to do Vlogmas because for us, we like to obviously make people feel happy and put you guys in the spirit and make 2020 just, you know, we want to, pop. yeah, we want to be some nuts and cherry on top, but like some good ones on top of your Sunday. On a different game. <laughs> different what? On a different game. Game? Mm -hmm. What's, what game? On another level. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> on another game and so yeah we're gonna be your game <laughs> i don't know <laughs> let's play a game oh <laughs> no we're not so but i just wanted to say thank you so much for that comment because it really means a lot and it will be a lot of work but i'm actually more motivated to do it like yesterday i set up my whole calendar and that's why i knew today was three because i had to write everything out like what will be filmed so i almost have a full calendar i already have 15 videos set but that doesn't mean that i don't want to take your videos into consideration i already made sure to put in q a with my mom so i'm going to be filming that coming up soon i think on sunday and yeah and then i wanted to give a shout out to i think it's cavalero girl and she comments all the time and she's been a ride or die so girl i see you and she said the nail polish gave me flashbacks of when you always got a nail polish in your it says etsy but i think her phone corrected it in your ipsy box and that made me laugh because yesterday or for my advent calendar i got a nail polish and i totally forgot about that and I used to always get a freaking nail polish in my Ipsy bag. And I'm just like, dude, can I like not get one for once? And I would redo the quiz and all of that. What's so funny is Ipsy actually reached out to me and they started sending me their boxes uh, for like the last two months. So if you guys want me to do an unboxing, I kind of planned on doing it for this month, which was such a coincidence. So yeah, and I'll tell you, there's no nail polish in it. So it's pretty good. <laughs> and then my last shout out, I want to do three times the charm is for Rashea Smith. And she says, you two are awesome. When I look at the notifications on YouTube, after working all day, I see you posted and I always watch your videos first. She's been another ride or die, always commenting, always showing love. So thank you. Okay, ready? Advent calendar time? Time to get to it. Okay, let's get to it. So get let's your let's... Star Wars out and then you could show what you get. And then while you're building it, I'll show what I pop out of my boxes. Okay. Yeah. Also, for today's vlog, uh, we're going to be decorating the tree. I wrote down that we're going to decorate the outside because lots of people wanted to see that, but we can't do it today. Glenn yes. said he needs something. I need no. I need light, sunlight, man. The sun goes down oh. really quickly out here. Um, so by like 5 o'clock, the sun's already down. I know. So, um, like 5.30, it's yeah. like pitch black. It's pitch black. So, <laughs> yeah, I need light. Um, Some time. So today's day two. Right here, right above the Millennium Falcon. Pop out and let's see what it is. The figurine. So it's gonna be Poe Dameron in a Christmas outfit. And the Christmas him, outfit. I'll, I'll put it together right now. <laughs> okay, so I have my Sigma 12 Days of Booty of Beauty. <laughs> and we're gonna pop this. I'm guessing it's obviously a brush, maybe travel size. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, is this an E25? Oh, an E38, Diffuse Crease. I love their brushes so much, and I'm obsessed with this little small travel one. Look at that. You know what's so funny is I cannot throw brushes away. I have, like, my very first... Well, I used to be a customer Sigma before even being on YouTube, you guys. Like, I was a freaking customer. 
And it's just so crazy how now everything that has happened and Sigma actually hosted my very first meet and greet and I brought my mom and it was the most amazing experience at the Mall of America and I will never forget it. Simone and her husband are absolutely beautiful people inside and out and it's just a genuine company and I, I love everything about it. But here's a gold crease brush. Here you go. <laughs> kind of looks like John McClane in uh, Die Hard 1, the Christmas sweater. That's pretty cool, but yes, that is Poe Dameron from the new series of uh, Star Wars. So. This one, Wild Wishes, babe, just feel how light this box is. Just feel it. I just want to know like, how, what your first thoughts are. What's in here? It's so unbalanced. Like, there's no, nothing heavy in here. I know, like, it's like hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. I don't, I don't know. I could, be wrong. I could be wrong. Well, it's supposed to be 24 makeup surprises. <laughs> I got highlighters that weigh more than this. <laughs> Is that okay, like, that's so like beyond travel. That's like, like this you're just going small. to the store. I smell like cologne or perfume. Oh, it's oh my perfume. gosh, it's perfume! It's like a little spray. It's the perfume. It's already evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> Here's day two right here. Oops, pop this open. Okay, let me pretend. Let me see what it is. Okay. Oh no, I can already tell. Oh no. <laughs> Don't do this, girl. It's not worth it. It's not worth. It's a hair clip. Clip. What? <laughs> Let me see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Well, I won't hate on it because I love tossing my hair up. So here's the clip right here. So let's um let's test Remember, it out. It's not what you got, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> but I, I bought this, so I okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Tested it out. It's not bad though, because I actually love claw clips and I'm obsessed with like little clips and you can get a ton off Amazon. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know how much I love them, huh? Yeah, she does. She really loves them. I have like a whole drawer. I don't know why. I just love putting it in a bunch. She just loves them. Period. I do. Period. Period. <laughs> what are we doing? When are we going to decorate? Later? We'll show later. them what we'll we decorate. We'll do that later because we still have to get some supplies. What supplies? For the Christmas. No, for the outside. So we, we need to get some lights. Um, we're missing some lights. So. Okay. Okay. We're going to do that. All right. We'll Wait. see you when we see you. What? Oh my gosh! How did I forget? She forgot it. Okay, ready? No, no flip it down. Forgot. I did. I did. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. No! Are you sorry? I need to. So I put the hand up first. She's all trying to hurry up. You looked at it, you guys. Okay, I knew flash. he was cheating because you were not the flashy swear. <laughs> so uh, we caught we. I'm gonna say we because everybody in the comments. I think it was last or no, not last mm -hmm. vlogmas, but I think the year before. And he was cheating. You could see him like look. Mm -hmm, well, how do you know? You. How do you know I didn't study it before we even started this? I could have just looked at the box and studied where all the numbers are. <sighs> Anyways, mm -hmm, exactly. so which one is this? Oh, they're the sour ones. Mm -hmm. So it says S A U E R. So, so. Sour. So, so. Yeah. Glenn's good at this. You guys know that. All right, guys. Since I'm here and we're vlogging, we have Hercules right here. This is our neighborhood cat, and we basically have taken over. Our neighbor also helps, and we got him a bed and a stocking and everything, and we're so excited. I got him a bandana that says first Christmas, too. Yep. Hercules. Look over here. So, he sleeps over here on this couch with the blankie, and then... We have a bed for him right there too, right? Yay. So he just started like kind of like spending the night here. We didn't let him inside uh, just because we have the dogs, but we have a gate and he wants to be friends with the dog so bad, you guys. So I brought my mom's dog, Nani, like during Thanksgiving and he was fine because he's such a calm cat. Like he, he is so well behaved and he actually is the neighborhood cat because we had neighbors across the street and it was the caregiver's cat and she was just, it was a nightmare, you guys. There was like so much drama and we feel so bad for what happened with the homeowner and she unfortunately passed away and all this stuff. It was horrible and it was due to, you know, everything going on. They just left him and he ended up becoming like the neighborhood cat. So several people helped feed him, but we're kind of taking it like the extra mile because we love cats. Well, we love animals, period. So... Yeah, we feed him, we give him meat food, he loves it. Um, the next door neighbor feeds him too. She was letting him inside the garage, but she already has a cat herself, so um, I think it's like a whole dominancy thing where the cat doesn't get along with him. So we've been letting him inside. Uh, Kujo's okay with them, because he's like older, but he still tries to chase him, and Ewok, 
talk about jealous he's so jealous um but let me show you while i can because i never did a part two for the decor but here's part two obviously uh this is what the tree is looking like now we got the bow on top if you guys haven't seen my first decorate with me then you guys can go check it out and this is what it looks like i ended up finding where is it because in the tree it's not like that great of a tree to fluff but i found these from Walmart, only a dollar. I thought they were marked as three. Well, I didn't take the tag off all the way. Uh, and see, so I have them as fillers to kind of, you know, make the tree look a little bit more full. And they're only a dollar. I wish I would have grabbed more. I thought they were three. So I grabbed like uh, five or six of them. And yeah, and then these ones are from Pier 1. I'm so sad that Pier 1 is freaking out of business. And I need to wrap some presents so I can put some underneath the tree because we have like about five, six presents already for our family. And then let me show you how I did the mantle because I never did. And I ended up keeping this tree right here and then I picked this one up from Hobby Lobby. This is obviously one of the little things from Walmart. And then we have this frame right here. I think this frame is from Z Gallery and then it's one of our wedding pictures. I love that one. It's like one of my favorite ones. And then I got this Merry Christmas sign. This is new. This one's from Hobby Lobby. Then we have our wedding pictures. Right here we have one with my mom, Glenn and I, and then Glenn's mom. And then we have our other decor right here that we kind of kept. And then that's also from Hobby Lobby. Then we put up this wreath and then I took off one of the flowers just to put right there just so it matches the Christmas tree because we have those flowers on the tree. So it kind of like all combines together. Those aren't going to stay there. I just put them there just because. And yeah, that's what we have so far. So here's our mantle. So much better than round one. So we gave Hercules a treat. So now we have to give... Kujo a treat he's in diapers he's a little old man now you guys and Ewok <laughs> he's all like he was walking it's okay and Hercules having his little treats look at him messy eater we just came back from Target because we went to go pick up the lights and I can never if I ever leave my laundry in the dryer I'm screwed you guys I don't know what you're talking about where am I freaking full leopard I'm helping you with the laundry and I'm gonna put it in your laundry basket. Oh. I like my camouflage, it's leopard print. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't with him. He always has my freaking underwear over his head. I am prepping dinner, so we're gonna have air fryer chicken wings and then also french fries tonight. So I'm gonna show you how I basically prep them. I have all my seasonings and I like to already open them. So I'm gonna add in some cornstarch and this is gonna give it, whoops, this is gonna give it some crispiness. Got a little, this, this gets a little, you know, a little messy. So I just make sure just to coat it all, just like that. We have quite a few. So then we can have leftovers because I always bring leftovers to my mom. So that's why if you ever see me cooking a lot, it's because I wanna make sure my mom Eat. She's been gaining weight, which is great. So I want to keep her on that streak. Put them like that. Then I'm going to go into seasonings. I'm going to do lemon pepper just all over. You do quite a bit. And you want to make sure all your wings are basically dry, pat dry. And that's going to help keep the crispiness of the wing. Then I'm going to add some garlic powder right here. You guys, Kirkland has like the best garlic powder because it's only $6.99 and you get this big freaking jumbo one. We never used to, I only started shopping at Costco because Glenn had a card and I love it. Then I'm gonna add in some paprika. I just bring it all over, same ordeal. It may seem like a lot, but we got a lot of wings going on over here. And if you want your wings to have flavor, you definitely got to make sure you cover them with that seasoning. Afterwards, I'll either keep the wing kind of like crispy and dry and I'll add in a little bit of mixed butter with lemon pepper and then that'll be the lemon pepper wing. And then we usually put like a, I'll put like a garlic soy sauce that I have that's from Frank's and it's really good. So hopefully you guys will enjoy these vlogs. Um, I'm going to show you like quick dinners that I make, stuff that I make within the week. Sorry if you hear that, we have a movie going on in the background. I forgot what it's called, but I've seen it before. Then a little bit of onion powder all over. A little bit of salt, because the lemon pepper already has seasoning or salt in it. And then I'll add some pepper. 
I got these really cute little salt and pepper jars. So I kind of like saute it up. So I get this and I'm like, <laughs> that was just a little bit of pepper because I already have the pepper from the lemon pepper and then of course pineapple salt shaker everywhere. That's good enough. Because then you add in like the sauce and then you're gonna dip in ranch and then you know all that good stuff. And then these gloves I got from Amazon. It's a whole box and they come in so handy because then you don't have to get your fingers all filthy and dirty and all that and cross contaminate chicken everywhere. This just makes it super, super simple. You got your seasoned chicken wing right there. Not too over seasoned, you know, because like I said, they're going to be putting on sauce and more seasoning like lemon pepper. And this is all I basically do. I set it at 390 in the air fryer. The one that you guys suggested to me was the Ninja. Obsessed, you guys. It is the best air fryer ever. I've been missing out on air fryer life because we had one that was so stupid. It was good while it lasted, but it was a Phillips one. It was like one of the first ones to come out. So it literally held like six chicken wings. So before when I used to do batches, I would probably do like about five to six batches. Like how stupid is that? Then all your food is cold, nothing's crispy, then you need to reheat. It's like, what are we even doing? Okay, so now I went ahead and just laid out the chicken wings. You can honestly pile them like this. This is the one that you guys suggested, the Ninja Max. Absolutely love it. And I got $20 off on Best Buy that was like matching a price. So yeah, if you guys are looking for one, get it. So I'll just have it like that. Uh, sometimes I'll spray a little bit of avocado oil, but right now I won't. Slide the glove off like carefully so I can reuse it. Now I have both hands, so we will just stick this baby in. I will turn it on. I'll do air fryer. It already goes to 390. It's great as it has suggestions, but after using it, you kind of know. And then I'll usually do like about 12 minutes and I'll let that go and then I'll check it, I'll shake it up and then I'll give it another go and I'll see how much more it needs. And then if you really want them crispy, um, sometimes like towards the end, I'll put max crisp and then it really crisps those babies up. So it went ahead and turned off. The timer already went off for the 12 minutes. So let's check them out. Ooh, look at that looking nice, crispy and golden. Right there already. I'm just gonna give it a little shake. Sorry, I don't want to shake the camera. And I kind of just toss them around and then I'm going to stick them back in. I'm kind of looking at them. All right, I'm going to stick them in for another like five minutes. And then I like to do it for like max crisp for, I don't know, I kind of like look at the skin. If it's too crispy, then I won't take it for too long, but I still always like finishing it off with max crisp. Oh, also, if you guys didn't check out the other uh, Lismas, I went ahead and showed you this nail tutorial. So, oh, I got cuticle hanging, but I want to do some holiday nail. So, uh, not sure if I'm going to vlog it. I might do that, um, or I might just put it on my Instagram. We'll see, because I usually like just concentrating on my nails and like zenning out. It's like therapeutic. So, maybe I'll just have my camera recording and I'll do like an IG video. How about that? But I need to figure out what I'm going to do. I definitely want to do like a snowflake. I saw a cute design with like an ornament and a bow, so we'll see. All right, guys, here's what they're looking like. Round two, looks good. Um, I'm probably not gonna crisp them, ooh, ooh, wow. So I'm probably not gonna crisp them right now. I'm gonna start the raw chicken right here just so we can get that going and then I'll put like I don't know, I'll reheat this one. This one will be crispy. Just crisp that one up and then I'll be done. Now all I did was just take some melted butter and then I just added some lemon pepper seasoning and then I'll just toss the wings in this sauce right here. So that will be the first batch. Second bowl will be the Red Hot. This is the Stingin' Honey, gar honey Garlic. This one is so freaking good. Also, Wingstop sells their own sauce and you can find it at Walmart, Albertsons, and then I bought mine online and then I saw it at Walmart. I was like, I should have known. And then we're just gonna have some of these Rally's fries, we have a little bit right here and then a little bit of these craft beer. So we'll just combine these and then we'll finish those bags off. Then when I coat them, I kind of just circle this all around just so like the first wings that go in aren't the ones that get like the most seasoning, you know, just so I can like coat the rest of the wings. Here is the wing, nice and crispy. Here are the lemon pepper wings and then we have the spicy garlic. We got our french fries. We got our little papas, huh? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the best ranch ever. 
And then our favorite drink for the holidays, Costco, if you can find it. And one of our favorite shows, Below Deck. It's not a vlog unless I say the truth, so I'm on the floor here because what do you mean? There's blue flashes. Right now? Yeah. You see more? Don't scare me. You guys were waiting for aliens to come. Well, I just had a freaking cry fest. I'm surprised my lashes didn't come off. This whole entire tripod, because I'm like, yay, we're gonna decorate, woo! This thing right at the end literally hit my big toe like directly, like it was a bullseye. It is so windy, you guys hear it? We're the annoying people with the wind chimes. Babe, where are you? Right Why'd the light go on? Oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. My toe. Well, let's just say we're not gonna be doing any um, cute little shoe picks anytime soon because my big toe is already swollen and my toe's gonna come off, like my toenail. It's already bruised and blue. Like that's how quick it was. It hurts so bad. I've never, I'm pretty good with pain, like really good. Like even for my foot tattoo, I didn't even feel anything. I think I was just excited because I was finally getting a tattoo I wanted in Tahiti, but oh. but I told Glenn, should we document the evolution of my toenail falling off? And he said no. <laughs> I was just making a joke, kind of. Okay, well, we're going to start decorating soon, so we'll see. But right now, Glenn just said that he saw flashes of light, of blue, and now he's like walking back and forth. That's the last thing we need, you guys, 2020. Aliens like come on now gosh look at this You guys know I do Botox. I haven't done it in so long. I can't even remember I think the last time I did it was like last year and I'm so like Animated that even when I get it <laughs> my face still goes wild, but I don't get it where I look like Frozen, you know, I like it where I still have some movement, but just to, to kind of control these things right here, but it's not on my top 10 list of things to do, but I did buy a special from the place that I go to. They usually like sponsor my stuff, but I was like, yeah, I like them so much. I just bought it my own self, you know? I don't know. But yeah, I bought Botox, but I just haven't gone. And then I usually do my smile lines and I just haven't gone. So yeah. Oh my gosh, my toe. My toenail's gonna come off. Are you still gonna love me with my missing toenail? Uh -huh. I'm trying to show you Orion's belt, you guys. I don't think, I think you can kind of see it. Whoa, what was that? Whoa, what the heck was that? Whoa, I saw that flash of light. What was that? It's over there. Hi. In the sky, we saw something. That was crazy. We're actually not going to decorate because Glenn wants to keep an eye on everything outside. We saw flashes of like blue light. Probably just decorate tomorrow when we have more time and I'll show you our decorations and I'll definitely vlog it. And then plus we want to do the outdoor decorations, right? Yes. So it's not if it's, oh yeah. Well, maybe we can do the house lights. I don't know. That might be dangerous too. Okay. We're going to have to play it by ear, but I hope you guys enjoyed our very first like vlog here for Vlogmas and I love you guys. Oh. Woo -woo.